Hi folks, welcome to another Fusion Friday. We had a customer say, hey, can you help me convert a DXF file into a 3D model? And this is actually from Haas. If you guys know Haas, Haas Machine, he sells a lot of GO407 conversion plans, and uh, we actually have his permission to do this as long as we don't post any real dimensions. So I thought, hmm, let's take a look. And I started deleting geometry by selecting stuff and hitting the delete key. Because what we've got here is basically a DXF from a 2D print. In fact, if you look closely, here's our part, here's a sort of look head-on view, here's a side view, and here's a 3D view. We want to get rid of all this stuff. But what I realized, even better, and you may not always have this much luck, but hopefully you will, if we expand this block arrow and sketches, here we go, sketches here, DXF have different layers Posted. That's not uncommon. So if we start unchecking, well, I like the visible one. Hidden, I don't want. Unlight bulb, all these. Okay, and let's just select them and delete them. We're left with visible. Okay, a start. One of the good things about CAD is if you drag left to right, it only creates a selection around what you fully selected. Whereas if you drag right to left, it will select anything that's encompassed within that box. So if I drag right to left here, hit the delete key, look how much just got deleted. I'll do the same thing here, same thing here. And if we zoom in now, boy, I think we actually might be good. Hit Q for press pull, pick our layer, drag up, and again, this would depend on what the dimension of the part is, which you have to refer back to the DXF that you already have, looks good. The only thing I think that was left out, if we go back, can we look? I think I deleted them, but there were two holes underneath here. Let's just assume that they were halfway up. So I'll hit L for line, click right here. I'm just going to go ahead and snap. Well, I don't know where my center is, so let's do this. And I'm going to hit uh, escape, which moves me into select mode. Click on that line to hit X, X to turn it into construction mode. Hit C for circle. And if you hover along, it snaps into a circle. I can now extrude, press pull that, and you do the same over here. So that's how you can quickly turn a 2D sketch into your 3D part. Take care, folks.